another fun and interesting video lesson in Grade 7 Mathematics. Come on and let's start learning! Measures of Central Tendency Here are the following lesson objectives. 1. Illustrates the measures of central tendency, mean, median, and mode. 2. Calculates the different measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. The measures of central tendency is a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data. The three most common measures of central tendency are mean, median, and the mode. Each of these measures calculates the location of the central point using different methods. Mean or average is the most popular and well-known measures of central tendency. Mean Mean or average is equal to the sum of all the values in the data set divided by the sum of values in the data set. In finding the mean of ungrouped data, here are the following examples. We have problem number one. Stephen has been working on programming and updating a website for his company for the past months. The following numbers represent the number of hours Stephen has worked on this website for each of the past seven months. 24, 25, 31, 50, 53, 66, 78. Step 1. Add the numbers to determine the total number of hours he worked. So, 24 plus 25 plus 33 plus 50 plus 53 plus 66 plus 78 is equal to 329. Step 2. Divide the result in the step 1 by the total number of months or the total number of values. So we have mean is equal to the sum of the values divided by the number of values. So mean is equal to 329 divided by 7. So the answer is the mean is equal to 47. Problem number two. Arvin operates Technology Titans, a website service that employs eight people. Find the mean average of his employees if their ages are as of follows. 55, 63, 34, 59, 29, 46, 41, and 51. Step 1. Add the numbers to determine the total age of the workers. So we have 55, 63, plus 34, plus 59, plus 29, plus 46, plus 51, plus 41 is equal to 378. Then, step number 2. We should divide the result in the step 1 by the number of age or the total number of the values. So mean is equal to the sum of the values divided by the number of values. So we have 378 divided by 8. The answer is 47.25. Median is the middle score in a set of data. It is a range from smallest to largest or vice versa. In finding the median of the ungrouped data, here are the following examples. So the median for odd number of data values is the value that divides the data into half. If n represents the number of data values and n is an odd number, then the median will be found in the n plus 1 divided by 2 position. So let's have the example. Problem number 1. 
find the median of the following data 12 2 16 8 14 10 and 6 so for the step 1 organize the data or arrange the data numbers from smallest to largest or vice versa so we arrange it from smallest to largest so 2 6 8 10 12 14 and 16 Step number two, since the number of data values is add, the median will be found in the n plus 1 all over 2 position. So, n plus 1 all over 2 is equal to 7 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 8 divided by 2 that is equal to 4. Since it is in the fourth position, so step number three, in this case, the median is the value that is found in the fourth position of the organized data. So, in the organized data, in the step 1, we have 2, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. And the fourth position is 10. So, the answer is, the median is equal to 10. The median for an even number of values is the value that divides the data into half. If n represents the number of data values and n is an odd number, then the median will be found in the n plus 1 all over 2 position. So, here is the second problem. Find the median of the following data. 7, 9, 3, 4, 11, 1, 8, 6, 1, 4. Same steps. So, step number 1, organize the data from smallest to largest. 1, 1, 3, 4, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11. Step number 2, since the number of data values is even, the median will be the mean value of the numbers found before and after n plus 1 all over 2 position. So, n plus 1 all over 2 is equal to 10 plus 1 divided by 2. So, that is 11 divided by 2. So, it is 5.5. Step number 3, the number found before the 5.5 position is 4 and the number found after the 5.5 position is 6. Now, you need to find the mean value by adding the two numbers which is 4 plus 6 divided by 2. So, the mean now or the median is or the mean is 5 and now the median is 5. Mode is simply the value that appears most frequently in the set of data. It could be a unimodal, a bimodal, or a multimodal. So the mode, the word modal is often used when referring to the mode of a data set. If a data set has only one value that occurs most often, the set is called unimodal. A data set that has two values that occurs with the same greatest frequency is referred to as bimodal. And when a set of data has more than two values that occurs within the same greatest frequency, the set is called multimodal. So let us try to find the mode of ungrouped data. So here are the following examples. So, when determining the mode of a data set, calculations are not required, but keen observation is a must. The mode is a measure of central tendency that is simply to locate, but it is not used much in practical applications. So, problem number one. Find the mode of the following data. 76, 81, 79, 80, 78, 83, 77, 79, 82, and 75. In the above data set, 
the number 79 appears twice, but all the other numbers appears only once. Since 79 appears with the greatest frequency, it is the mode of the data values. So the answer, it is 79 and it is a unimodal. Next example, the ages of 12 randomly selected frontliners in Santo Tomas is listed below. So 23, 21, 29, 24, 31, 21, 27, 23, 24, 32, 33, and 19. What is the mode of the above ages? So the data set has three values that each occur with a frequency of 2. These values are 21, 23, 24. All other val values occur only once. Therefore, this set of data has three modes. So the answer is or are 21, 23, 24. And they are called multimodal. I hope you enjoy a lot with our lesson. But before I end this video, let me leave you with a phrase. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is not an app, but a habit.